Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good to see you. I support most uh, animal welfare and animal rights organizations. I hear a lot of good things about PCRM and I'm here to support them. There's so much misery and, and pain and suffering in this world and anything that we can do in order to uh, prevent that, that's uh, what we should do. So if there are an organization like PCRM and others that do that, that help animals, I support them. Addie Gill. To the world, the name is synonymous with Sea Shepherd's mighty black boat that valiantly patrolled the oceans to protect the whales from menacing whaling vessels. With its futuristic stealth design and top speeds reaching 50 knots, the Addie Gill was a superhero of the seas, masked in the form of a ship. But in Hollywood, Addie Gill evokes other imagery in high definition. Mr. Addie Gill is founding partner of American High Definition, the production company behind practically every major award show televised. He is also one of the most generous animal welfare activists you'll ever meet. Today on Vegetarian Elite, we continue with the second part of our program on the extraordinary Addie Gill and his adorable nine-year-old vegan partner. Now who could this be? Yes, because you're my baby girl. So we are here with your wonderful dog, Kayla. Hey, Kayla, come here. Kayla, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Say, say hi to the camera. Oh, you're so pretty. How did you meet her? I actually... Kayla came to me as a foster uh, dog. Mm -hmm. She was rescued. She was 15 minutes for being euthanized at the shelter. So then you adopt her. I, then I adopted her. And we adopted each other. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And we are partners in life. You know? Aww. Yes. We give each other respect. Known internationally for his animal rights advocacy, Addie's journey into activism began with a turkey he adopted and named Shalom. He explains, Shalom means peace, and helping animals has become my peace. So it all started in 1999. My girlfriend at the time, which was a vegetarian, said to me that instead of eating a turkey for Thanksgiving, there's a program that I can adopt a turkey for Thanksgiving. You send twenty dollars to farm sanctuary, and it's a symbolic thing. And you will adopt a turkey, and they're going to name the turkey after you. And this turkey, turkey is saved, and that's what it's going to be all about. I said, "Well, twenty dollars is not much. Why would I do this thing?" So then I was aware uh, that there are a lot of animals that actually need some help in this world because I became. You know, I start looking at Farm Sanctuary and what they do. Then I was watching a TV on Animal Planet. I think it was a program for ASPCA about dog abuse in New York City. And I said, oh, these guys are doing a good job. You know, they're taking dogs which are being mistreated and, and taking them into their uh, facility and treating them and all that. So I start supporting the, the ASPCA in New York. And then I start supporting the SPCA LA and they had a, a teleton and Kayla and I supported it. We, all, we were on television we, and then other organization that I've seen doing really good work. Uh, that going into the year 2007 where I was just invited to a gala in Santa Monica. I didn't even know what it was all about and it was a fundraising for Sea Shepherd. I thought at a time that it's a good organization with direct action and they really go out there to save the world and I was touched by it and 
I bought uh, in the auction a little electric car, which I still have. That was in 2007. Later on, when I was approached to help them with the uh, purchasing another vessel, because they said it with another boat they could stop whaling, I thought that you know stopping whaling just by buying another boat would not be a bad idea. So. Uh, they suggested to get Airtrace and getting into their fleet. So I gave them a million dollars to do that. And from there, uh, Airtrace got painted black. My name went on it, went down to Antarctica and made headlines by having a collision with the security ship of the whalers. And that's what made me, my name actually, be famous and known uh, around the world because of that incident. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that opened me up to a lot of other things. Now I find myself so involved with this, with everything, that, you know, I don't even know sometimes where to go, but I try to touch every animal that comes uh, across my path because as they say even if you save a little bird if you find an injured bird in the yard it doesn't mean anything to the world but it means the world to that animal this is peekaboo oh. peekaboo hey kid peekaboo give me a kiss <laughs> give me a kiss in 2010, Addie founded the Addie Gill World Conservation Foundation, or AGWC. To date, it has assisted in a number of projects to safeguard the well-being of animals from dogs to whales. AGWC is unique in that there are no administrative costs, and all donations go straight to charitable causes. In some cases, Addie has even matched donations dollar for dollar. So I knew that I was going to be selling my company or going into merger and acquisition in the year 2010. So I decided that it would be good to create some sort of a foundation prior to that. So I will have a place to put some of or good portion of the proceeds that came from the sale of the company into my own private foundation. A dog can be found on the street and somebody take it to the hospital and can call me up and I can pay for surgery since I have my own foundation. Uh, I'm helping other organizations like Farm Sanctuary and HSUS and other through my foundation and the money that I put in it. But I'm also capable of doing direct action. I am um, talking to animal hospitals here in Los Angeles. So if a dog goes there and needs some health care and nobody has the money to pay for it, I can help. And I do it, you know. Addie explains how even simple gestures like offering free DVDs of the Earthlings documentary can go a long way. When I went to Japan, to Taiji, I was interviewed by a special Coast Guard investigator. And he was a very, very respectful man. I'm going to give him a copy of Earthlings. And here's a guy who is eating meat, and he's a guy who may be protecting fishermen or whatever. He took it and he watched it. Two weeks later, I'm getting an email from this Coast Guard investigator, who's a higher rank Coast Guard, said, Adi, I'm not touching meat anymore. I said, okay, maybe I didn't save dolphins in my trip. But I turned one person, or I gave one person one little baby step, you know. Well, that was worth it, because he may tell his friends. Right. And these people may watch Earthlings or whatever, right? And they will be, there will be less cows being killed because now the Japanese Coast Guard is not eating cows anymore. Mm -hmm. So I think that every activist or anybody who cares about animals, that this movie made a change in their life should have 10 DVDs in their car. They should carry these DVDs with them. So See? wherever you go, you distribute the movie. That's right. You, you try to, in all ways, to inspire people around you. Exactly. That's what I do. I buy them in, in 100 uh, pieces, you know, at a time, and I just give them for free. Whether it's activism through online social media... My Facebook is actually pretty sad because 
There's a lot of what I see here, you know, on a daily basis. It's like, you know, suffering of animals and all that stuff. Protests, protests, you know, bears, uh, seal hunts, largest here stop the largest seal slaughter. Um, you know, the cove director uh, and giving the videos of the cove. Or taking important calls at work. I want to do a continuation of the story, the raid that we did on the puppy mill. That was last week. We, we saved 130 dogs. Addy remains focused and dedicated on improving the lives of our animal co-inhabitants in any way he can. During our visit to the offices of American High Definition, Addy shared a story of a recent animal rescue operation. A few weeks ago we got a tip on a puppy mill in Tennessee. We collected evidence, we had undercover investigation. As you can see in this video here, uh, Last week, we finally got our search warrant, and we had a crew. We went to Tennessee. We got there in the middle of the afternoon at about 3 o'clock. Uh, we had about 14 people. We had the sheriffs. We had hazmat and secure the area. Um, the district attorney was there with us. We did not know how many dogs actually were in the puppy mill. We thought between 100 to 200. As we walked in, we found horrific conditions, uh, exactly how the informer told us. There were dogs living there on feces. It was unbelievable. Uh, they had disease, skin disease. They were never been bathed. They were never been fed correctly. They, dehydra they were dehydrated. It was terrible. I've never seen anything like it. At first, uh, we saved a dog outside, which were in cages. We were not allowed in the house because the ammonia level was so high we had to have hazmat go and clear the house and ventilate it. It was not suitable for anybody to live in this house under this condition and she had dogs and she was living her, herself. After the air was cleared we saved another 50 dogs from inside the house. We took all these dogs, put them on trailers and took them to Nashville where the city gave us a barn and then we set a temporary shelter. We had medical attention, we had people cleaning them up, we, we vaccinated all the dogs and then we were waiting for a hearing on Tuesday to see whether we're going to get custody of the dogs and yesterday we did. So now we have these 130 dogs and we're going to find them good home. What you see here is now the shelter, the temporary one that we set up. You see this dog being washed, you see the, the teeth being checked, you see they're gone on scale. There are thousands of these puppy mills. And the reason for that is greed, because these women, or these people, are making money out of these dogs. And the other thing is that we, as people, like designer dogs, and we don't go to the shelter because we think that sheltered dogs are not as cool or as pretty and whatever. This dog is a sheltered dog. I re rescued her when she was 11 months old and she is just as great as any dog that would come from a puppy meal or from a breeder. Right Kayla? Yes, because you're my baby girl. In case you were wondering, no cows were harmed in the making of Addy's couches. They are all fitted with a high quality synthetic that looks and feels like leather, minus the cruelty. When, when, when I saw you, you told me, um, I have a mission. Like You said that you have a mission, and certainly you have a mission. I want to take all the fruits that I got out of my work and put it toward uh, helping animals if I can. There is no reason for me to finish my life with money in the bank. So what I want to do is I want to give everything that I have in helping animal their animal rights, animal welfare, and make sure that uh, if I can touch them and I can help them, that would be my mission. Uh, I cannot save the planet, but what it is that I can do is reduce pain and suffering.
if I can pay for surgery for dogs, if I can help legislation to reduce suffering for farm animals, if I can reduce the killing of whales and dolphins and, uh, and other animals, if I can uh, help with uh, animals that are being tested in laboratories, all that is going to be good, you know. I don't believe in doing to something, somebody else what I don't want done to me. I want to see the next day. So that every animal, they all want to wake up the next morning, right? So my, my mission is, if I can help more animals wake up the next morning, better it is. How would I like to be remembered? Oh. I'd like to be remembered as somebody who had a huge compassion toward uh, the world and the animals somebody who actually took action to do this thing, uh, somebody who was not uh, selfish and gave to the one that needed and tried to make this planet a better place for whoever lives on this planet. I hope that the animals on this planet that cannot speak you know, will remember that I was here and help them, you know. Our sincerest gratitude, Mr. Addy Gill, for your devotion to our precious animal co-inhabitants. May your shining example lead the world into an era of love and kindness where all sentient life is treasured. Visit Addy Gill online at www dot addygill.com the Addie Gill World Conservation Charity can be found at www.agwc501.org for more info about American High Definition please visit www.high-def.com Thank you, gentle viewers, for joining us today on Vegetarian Elite. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. May joy and happiness meet you with every noble step you take in life. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE. You ready? Here you go. Come here. Here you go. Catch. Good girl. <laughs>